hours from home to do uh, something I bet you can't guess we're doing. Well, maybe you can, by now you probably know. What are we doing, babe? Oh, I forgot, dude. It's been so long. We've been in the car for way too long. <laughs> and now it's hot. I thought this was gonna be a coast drive, but now we're going inland and I'm dying. But uh, yeah, we're buying another Toyota, guys. So, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a 1988 Toyota um, extra cab pickup. It's tan, it's got the stripes, it's an SR5. Short bed, I believe. It comes with a canopy, it looks like a Forerunner canopy. Or one of those old ones that are, it's like a canopy for a truck, but it looks like a Forerunner top. And we are five minutes out right now, so. We're gonna get it for, they're, they're asking four grand for it, and we chewed them down to 2,500. We're gonna, they said yes, so we're, we're, we're gonna go there right now, we're gonna see what the hell's wrong with it, because nobody in their right mind should let this clean of a pickup go for that little amount of cash. So we're gonna find what's wrong with it. We're gonna figure out what's going on. I mean, the brakes are bad, you know, but we're only like three, maybe four hours away from home, so like, we got this, you know. Yeah, the, no the, problem. The brakes don't really work-ish, but like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I've definitely done that before. So uh, here's the hope when we don't die. And let's take a look at this truck. This is it guys, it's this little blue Toyota. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. We're one street up. Oh God, please be in good shape. Turn right onto Border Street, then your destination will be on the say, right. That's a fucking hill right there. The stop sign? Is I it just off I because you guys is stupid? I can't turn right. Are you going to go around? Oh, there oh it is. I see it. You gotta go around. Oh. Gotta go around. Oh. <laughs> Speeds up. Oh. The hood's up. Is that a bad sign? Yeah, it probably means you just put fluid in it because it's overheating. Oh. It's not a great sign, yeah. Yikes, it looks really good though. Maybe it comes with the tires too. That'd be cool. Dude, look at this piece of bamboo on the ground. Oh, wow. Hey, I love the truck. I didn't want to get rid of it, but then I was like, well, I want to get a street bike. Got a new exhaust, huh? Um, I don't know. That was all on there when I bought it. Um, I do. I'm gonna buy it from you, but I want to just kind of look it over real quick and then um, check the fluids before we fire it up. So I gotta get this thing like four hours back home. You think you think it'll make it? Oh yeah, I'm driving up there. Listen. Ooh. Looks like window seals are in our future again. Bane of my existence. I have no idea how excited I am. This is an SR5 without a sunroof, which means no leaks. Um, and it has AC. And it has the tack dash. And I'm super freaking pumped. Dude. It's got a new, this is cute. It's clean. This is a clean truck. He's got this one key, and it looks like probably the original key from, it's just really worn in, but it's all twisted. But he says it opens the front door, at least on the driver's side, or only on the driver's side, rather. I kind of want that piece of bamboo. Okay. Go knock on the door. What do you think of the truck, then? Dude, it's cute. It drives really good. Does it? Oh, yeah. All right. That's way too far out to be. Oh, that is way too far out. Yeah. 
That would like hit cyclists and stuff. I'm pretty sure you'd get a ticket. Hey, you're so weird. <laughs> I'm weird. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> get that bamboo in there, babe. Well, <laughs> this was uh, unanticipated. I didn't mentally prepare for this. The horn doesn't work. Oh, it's surprise, my truck. Surprise. Yeah. I'm like more surprised when they do work. I know, I am too. Yeah, um, let me figure all this shit out here really quick. Okay. Dude, these door panels are really clean looking. Dude. They're so nice. Dude, and they're SR5 specific. I think they're, I've never seen this like kind of bumps out. Sticky is just kind of, kind of goes like up against the metal. This has like a little cushion to it, which is cool. There's a couple other things that I've never seen before or that I've never had before. I knew that existed, which is this little pocket on the door, which I believe is also on single cabs. I could be wrong, but it's either only on extended cabs or it's only on SR5s or it's in just the later years, like 87, 88. Right. This is the last production year of this body style. And then it goes to like the kind of Tacoma -y looking ones. Okay. Um, it's got an SR5 steering wheel, which is in bad condition just because it's been rubbed, it's been, you know. Rubbed raw. Rubbed off. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and, um, but it's really cool because it's like stitched, you know. Oh, yeah. Which like the basic ones don't have the stitching, but other, other than that, it's identical. I wonder if you can like use like a vinyl, like. Yeah, like a paint. Or stain or something. Yep. I can, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that thing that uh, Shihiro has on that wrap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. With the dots in it. Yep. And just do it yourself. Yep. And oh, that would look it. nice. She came with an extra one. Perfect. I already have it. So that would match really well in it, here. Yeah. And then I've also got this like SR5 wrapped little shift knob that looks like a freaking like a dead squirrel wrapped around it or something. <laughs> it I'm not even sure. Yeah. But uh, I like it. And oh, this is really cool. I forget how to do it. <laughs> and they both work. Nice. Yeah. You sure do. Little map lights. And this doesn't work, but that's probably just a oh, oh shit! It, it works. Work. <laughs> it didn't earlier. Hell yeah! This is another cool feature. It's got a little pen holders. <laughs> oh and, wow! And also, feel how thick these are. These are like thicker than normal. Oh wow, they are. Yeah, careful! Like, don't don't squish them. Don't don't ruin them. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry. She's all like, oh yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. And I don't. Oh, I just noticed this right now. I don't know what this is. It's some weird coax cable. Dude, is this a fucking no way? No way. I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me in the comments if that's a thing or not. I don't know. I haven't even crawled under the dash to look at, at anything, but it doesn't come with a shroud, but it does come with the uh, tilt wheel, which I'm always really excited to get because I have several of them. Um, I hoard rare parts. And it also has the tack dash. Wait, did I miss it? Or like, did you already notice that these are like a different color? You missed it. These are, I haven't mentioned it yet. I was getting to that, but oh. I guess we'll go straight there. I believe that these are four runner seats. These are four runner seats. They're the same shape. Um, and they might be going in sticky because they're blue. This thing's wicked cool. Also, it holds nine tires. It's, uh, it's not unbursting with tires, let's just say that. But I'm really excited. It says SR5 all over it. It's got the stripes. I've always wanted factory stripes, which means this hasn't been painted over, except for in, you know, key places. That's okay, I can live with this kind of stuff. Somebody spray painted it in its early life, which probably saved it from something, rust or something, I don't know. I don't know if this is factory or not, or if it's just like old school. There's, there's uh, six clamps, and they're all in pretty good condition from what I can tell. Um, there's three on each side. Yeah, this looks like aftermarket. It's like a CB antenna or something? Eora. That's what I was thinking, yeah. CB antenna of some kind. Um, I'm hoping that maybe it is factory. That's kind of sucky. I don't really like that, actually, because if that's a hole in my window, I'm going to be freaking ticked off. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. 
Maybe it's, I don't know. Anybody knows what that is, please tell me if I can take this off or if it's factory. If it's factory, I love it. If it's not factory, tell me if I can take it off. That's how I feel. I noticed, I noticed Alyssa fucking with the windshield seal and she's, she's always really excited about replacing windshield seals with me and uh, she loves it, so. No, am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, now we're actually kind of good at it, so it's actually not that bad anymore. Yeah. But like, I just still have like the horrors of it not working. My philosophy is like once a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just like do, I can one, do one. I could do a windshield a year. Just one, once a year, so we don't get PTSD from it, because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it's really it's really bad. If you guys haven't seen it, um, check out my channel and watch the video about us replacing Sticky's windshield, the 1984 Toyota, the one back there facing us, the gray one. We put the rubber seal kind of deal on instead of this nonsense because it was leaking and somebody had cocked it and blah blah blah. So we saved it, but it was an ordeal. So watch the video. I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am. I'm so happy. He's tan. He's like stock tan. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah. This is the stock tan Toyota. Dude, did you notice that, like I literally kind of gave you like no shit about this truck because you just like flash it. I know. And I was just like. You're like yeah, I know. God damn it, Chris. Yeah, I know. Why are you gonna find these cool things? I know. I'm training her. Okay. <laughs> so. Tell me if you see a sandbar. I will actually. I'll let you know. Put it in the comments if you have a sandbar and you want to sell it to me. She's talking about a Subaru sandbar, basically. You could fit like the nine of them in this trunk and they're super small. They're Subaru mini like right wheel, right hand drive vans. They're kind of like a Delica if you know what a Delica is. The bed is really clean. It's not dented or dinged at all. The only rust at all is like this little bit of surface rust right here. I mean, it's so freaking surface rusty. It's not even funny. It's not even pitted. It's literally just surface rust. Yeah, check out this shiny tailgate, guys. You guys know how I am with tailgates. And if you don't, if you're not an OG, I really, really like tailgates. I collect them. Look at this carpet, guys. I know you can't see it because it's dark and stuff, but yeah, it's way too dark. It doesn't even look smell. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like a nasty old rig. It just smells like a regular old rig. But there's no holes in the carpet, dude. Look at this. This is it's just as nice as Shihiro's. Dude, it's we even what? Front is tinted? No. Yeah, this is a tinted window. Is that a tinted window? Yeah. Is it a factory tinted window? I don't know, but it's totally tinted. Is it? Okay, so I was thinking that too. This is a factory tinted the car. It's, tinted. it's factory <laughs> tinted. Because this one is too. It's kind of... And, it, this, and this back one. It's almost... It's well, darker. yeah, the back one's darker, but it's almost like an amber color. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the factory color. Dude, this is such... This is a $6,000 truck. This guy sold me for 2500 bucks. Also, I know nobody's gonna believe me, but because I didn't stupidly, I got too excited in the test drive and I didn't take the GoPro with me. But as soon as we hopped in the truck, dude was like, "Yeah, there was like multiple people obviously offering me full price for it." He's like, "A guy said if I if I screwed you over, he'd give him five grand for it, and he'd come right away." And he's like, "Nah." I can't believe it, dude! Finally, we found somebody. I know. All of our bad, our bad luck karma with getting cars sold out from under us. I know. Was all put into this purchase. Dude, Louie. <laughs> dude, I love it. Um, the shifter is a little bit loose as far as when it's in gear. It's pretty, that's in gear right there. It's pretty fucking loose, but I'm sure it's just a little bushing in there. And it shifts good. It doesn't pop out of gear at all. The radio is hella outdated. It doesn't even, I mean, it works, but it doesn't even have uh, auxiliary or anything like that. The speakers, the only ones that I've noticed that have worked yet are not the front ones at all, but the rear. And they're coming from somewhere back here. I haven't really investigated that yet. Oh, I guess these boxes right here. Oh, that'll be easy to swap out. Hey, anybody wants some, uh, like, late model jeep rims from a from a wrangler they look like maybe 17s to me maybe even 18s but probably probably 17s uh hit me up in the comments i'm in oregon they are really nice tread there's five of them i think one of them has a little less tread than this but it's it's good tread they're like new they're not weather checked or nothing Alyssa, thank you very much for going with me it was long i gave her a day off of work for it though <laughs> yeah it was worth it yeah the dude just replaced the battery. That is a brand new battery, for sure. You can just tell by looking at it. I haven't even looked at the date code, but it's new. Uh, 22RE, looks like the factory motor. It's got 260 some odd thousand miles on it. Um, maybe it was rebuilt, maybe it wasn't. Being the SR5, even though my 4Runner is not an SR5, but it also has air conditioning. There's an S there's an air conditioner right there. I haven't tested it yet, and I actually haven't told Alyssa this yet, but I did test the heater, and the heater works really, really good. Um, doo -doo -doo, what else? Oh, yes. This is probably my favorite part. Full exhaust. 
full headers, full exhaust all the way back. I don't see a brand name on them, so they could just be cheapos. I don't know, but I was kind of hoping that maybe somewhere they'd say LCE on them or something. The dude had mentioned that they were custom from his friend who's like a welder, but I don't know the story on that. But we're gonna find out. We'll assume that it's custom if there's no logos on it, but underneath the truck, it comes down to the collector. Doesn't leak. Not yet at least, that's kind of a, I think that's just a dry fit right there, there's no gasket. And then it goes back down here and it's super well done in my opinion. Super well done. Goes all the way back, tucks back up, and it's not even the lowest point. It's it's higher than the cross member right there. So, see? It's way up here. Just trust me, I know the angle's shit, but... Then, looks like we've got a stock muffler. And uh, it's bigger than normal piping. It looks like maybe two and a quarter. Something like that. Maybe two and a half, but I don't think two and a half. I think two and a quarter looks more proper to me. It is IFS. Anybody who knows these, the year ranges of these trucks will know that, but it's worth mentioning. It's an IFS truck, which I'm super stoked about because straight axles are super cool, but they're getting hard to find. And you know, honestly, I just like the ride quality of IFS. So there's that. Radiator is a nice high quality all metal radiator. I don't know if it's the original one. I highly doubt it's the original one, but it looks like it was done somewhat recently, maybe. Eh, maybe not, there's a little corrosion. I opened up the glove box here and I found this, which uh, this plastic wrapped thing, which contained the original 1988 owner's manual. Um, and by the way, fun fact, that's the year I was born, 1988. It's also the very first time I've ever owned a 1988 Toyota pickup, which which concludes my, my lifelong collection of second gens, whether it be a forerunner of this era, you know, 84 to 89 ish, or a pickup. I think they've all been four-wheel drives in this particular case. I've owned older ones as well. I also have Hiluxes, as you guys know, but I've owned every single year in that range. 84, 85, multiple 86s, in 87, right? Yeah, now an 88, and my very first forerunner was an 89. So, cool. It also included, in that bundle, it also included, like, a manual in French, apparently. I'm sure maybe in English, too, but at least in French for the genuine Toyota radio that this truck came with. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that anymore. I would have loved that radio. I would have given it a really good home and loved it, but that's okay. We won't talk about that. It also came with this Superfly buyer's guide for 1988. Looks like these Ganador mirrors right here. I didn't even know, like, I don't even know what that is, like a Corolla or a Celica or something, I have no idea. I didn't, didn't even know that was an option back then for those. That's pretty cool. And uh, where's the other one? Oh yeah, this like super chic, 80s Toyota sportswear collection like flyer with like super 80s people on it. Check this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's 80s as fuck, boy. So anyway, super exciting. I haven't even opened these up yet, but oh cool. It's like shaped like a car. I know I'm weird, but I love stuff like this. It's super cool. So um oh yeah. The other thing is it came with a regulator and extra handles for the window because the windows are kind of hard to roll up, but they, they're just, you know, need lubrication and stuff. The seals are in really good condition all around. I mean, this truck is in such good condition. It's ridiculous. So I'll be taking the panels off soon and cleaning them and cleaning behind there and getting all the gross filth out of there. Um, but fun fact, I do have an extra regulator now. Only one though, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. I don't think I need them. I don't really know what else to say about it right now. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I missed. I haven't screwed up the four-wheel drive yet, but the dude bought it from an old man, and I'm sure that the four-wheel drive will work. And if it doesn't, it's it's easy to work on these things. I've got extra parts, extra transfer cases, extra drive lines, all that kind of stuff. No big deal there, and I can source that stuff if I don't. But, wow. Would you look at that? Louis or Lewis, the 1988 Toyota pickup truck. 2,500 bucks. What do you guys think? If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't worry about it. Don't do anything, you know what I mean? But um, until next time, I appreciate you guys watching, and we will certainly be making more of these awesome vids. So peace out, be safe, wear your mask. See ya. Listen.